He was abducted and held hostage. And when the FBI executed a mission to rescue him, they ended up killing him. It's been more than two years since Ulysses Valladares was killed, and tonight his family is still waiting for someone to be held accountable. Roseanne Aragon is live in Northwest Houston tonight with that story. Roseanne? That's right. The identity of that agent has yet to be released. Two and a half years after that incident, the family is still waiting for answers. But there was an update this week. Hopefully it's a gleam of something good to come. Hope for a family still dealing with heartbreak. Brooke Pierce is the half-sister of Ulysses Valadares, a hostage victim who was killed in January of 2018 by an FBI agent who was sent to protect him. So at the very least, it's what's called manslaughter, maybe murder, and then there's also criminally negligent homicide. Court documents say two men approach Valadares at his home, gagging and duct taping him and his 12 year old son, asking the whereabouts of Valadares' brother. Valadares was taken to another home as a hostage for ransom. His son was able to break free and called for help. He's now 14. His father died. He has questions on where the right and wrong is in the world. Um, these were the agency that were supposed to come in and save his father. Court documents say the agent, while peering through a window, fired a weapon at Ulysses, killing him. Ulysses was still bound. His family says no one was held accountable. That he did not take the appropriate steps. A federal judge agrees. The agent, whose identity has remained anonymous, motioned to be dismissed from the case, citing qualified immunity. But the federal judge denied the motion, saying the agent's action alone was objectively unreasonable, stating the facts in this case case are undisputed. All reasonable officers would have known that the act of shooting blindly through a window and an unidentified person violates the Constitution. Now we spoke with the family's attorney who says they're now turning to the Harris County DA's office. We reached out to them. They stated in part, grand jury investigations are currently backed up due to COVID. As soon as grand juries are back in full swing, we'll be able to confirm whether we do indeed have the evidence so that the grand jurors can make an informed decision as to whether any charges are warranted. The family and the people of Harris County deserve nothing less. They also said they empathize with the family. You can read their full statement on our website. Click to Houston.com. We also reached out to the FBI. They told me that because of pending investigation and litigation related to this case, they cannot comment. For now, Roseanne Aragon, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Roseanne.